what's up you guys so I just fixed my hair I kind of shaved my face and I'm debating about should I just stop shaving because lately unless if I need to but so far I feel like I don't need to do it I think my face is good I always love my sideburns um, it was just something I wanted to try new and different and you know speaking of new and different I know you guys are noticing something that you are not used to seeing and yes I did get a nose ring um, I went and I got it done I was super scared and nervous but I took the the pain and you know I, I took like the risk of it and I've been taking good care of it but I didn't have this ring when the girl put it on me I think it was a diamond it was like an L-shaped diamond that she had given me that I purchased but um, me I like to rub my nose so much so I wasn't used to it since this is a piercing for me this is the first time I get a piercing I don't have tattoos and stuff and I don't plan on but I wanted to get this nose piercing for a very long time and I've been deciding on it for like months and the past year so um, I was super happy super excited when I got it done and then of course when I was rubbing it I kind of like hit it once and then it came out of place a little bit but then I was able to push it back in then the second time I was just talking to my husband and I literally yanked it all the way out so I was like panicking trying to figure out what I could do I didn't want to have to go back and then her have to re um re put the needle I mean the needle back in my nose and make it more bigger I didn't want to go through that or get like keloids or anything so I was trying to find ways and options so that that wouldn't happen so I ended up um, having to purchase this sterling ring at Walmart and my sister she's used to piercings because she used to pierce herself and she she had um, like a couple piercings so I had to get advice from her so she told me to buy like the saline spray told me to buy um, some ointment for my nose since that day I was irritating and my nose was super swollen you guys like I am very dramatic when it comes to pain so any little thing once it gets swollen and I don't like to irritate it because then I, I feel really bad and I feel like it's it's not gonna turn out good so I try to get the ointment at first I wasn't gonna get it and my sister was like no you need to go and buy that like now don't wait the last minute then it'll be too late so I ended up going and I got all this stuff and um, while I was there I went to my local Walgreens just to be here and getting my my um, things that I needed and then later on I went and I got this from Walmart um, I passed by and luckily luckily because I've been looking for this for so long I purchased this on my own and I went out and I grabbed the power grip primer from elf so I was like yes finally the CC cream I've been trying to you know save up and then be able to buy my other high-end brands but for now I wanted to go back to the CC cream and try it out so I will be reviewing this today you guys it kept this little ring in because I had to like measure it and then put it in my nose but I've been leaving it alone taking good care of it twice a day and I've been taking care of my skin now. Now I've been more washing my face and stuff. So I want my skin to heal. And I really don't want to like um, irritate my skin. So I want to use like just um, drugstore related makeup. Just something easier for me to get done out the way. Because you know I still have to pick up my daughters like in you know a couple hours from now. So this is why I just prefer just staying in and just using a minimum of makeup because I feel like nowadays you know full coverage is like the thing but for a mom and especially when you are a full-time mother 24 7 I honestly feel like I don't have time to get ready there's some some days that I do get ready in my room when I have time and you know I try to give time to my kids spend time with them do mommy duties do what I need to do with around the house clean cook all of that good stuff and then when I do have extra time for myself then I'll go and I'll film or I'll film something on my Instagram and show like just a look but I mean it's been a minute um, I haven't done anything and then of course I told you guys that recently last year I had my phone and my son decided to put it in a toilet so I had to go and get another phone that is I forgot the name I forgot the name of it 
but I had to get an old iPhone so right now that is what I'm using I used to use my my phone phone the one that my son threw in the toilet for like you know pictures Instagram you know that kind of stuff but now since I am a little bit not phoneless but I don't have a way of taking my videos and pictures this phone doesn't provide that for me and then on top of that it doesn't let me open like my makeup page like I have two pages I have one for like you know family and friends and then I have another one which is my makeup public page and um, right now it's not letting me because it's like the older version and I need to like upgrade it so I have to wait on that my husband said that he's gonna surprise me so I just gotta wait on my um, my 13 Pro Max for right now once I have it then I'll be like good to go because I really wanted to just wait then and not have to film this but I was kind of in a little funk and then you know I got some bad news um, from my husband um, that his um, one of his family members had passed away so um, I didn't want to be sad for him so I've been trying to stay strong even though it's not something easy to lose somebody and if you guys know someone that you lost or a family friend whoever that is is close to your heart your loved ones you you will kind of feel the same way so I'm trying to like bring up like positivity trying to make something work out of this and um, not be lazy because I'm also like trying to mentally speak to myself positive things that I never used to do never used to even say to myself and like whenever I would wake up and go to the mirror, I would never tell myself that. Now I'm starting to tell myself that. I used to just talk to myself, but now I'm starting to tell myself, you know, I'm beautiful. I'm smart. God loves me. I'm very special. I have a purpose and I'm not going to stop here. So I've been trying to do that. been trying to read little by little. I'm not there yet because you're working progress. So I'm just working on building more of my relationship with God and then I'm um, reading more of the Bibles. I know you guys want some Bible stories, but um, just give me some time because I do want to get a really good one. That way it's not too long to make the Bible stories short, but understanding for you guys to understand. Um, but yeah, this today, you guys, and I will be giving you guys my final thoughts throughout the whole day to see how the primer does well on its own i don't know if i'm going to be using any type of powder but in case i do need to um i will link it down here and um show you guys but for now i'm just going to get started and i'm going to use these two little bad babies and yeah let's just get into this <laughs> video and um before i go if you guys are new hello welcome my name is christina i just get into this video Alright you guys, so I had moisturized and added some sunscreen. I've been using the Bliss Skin Care um, products which I love. Um, there's some things that I don't like and then there's other things that I approve of. Um, I've been using this SPF. I don't really like it as much because it does leave like a little white cast but you just have to use a little minimum of this. So I've been using this on top of my Bliss Vitamin C Tribe Peptide. And this stuff been working really good. Like I notice a big difference in my skin whenever I moisturize and I use it now that I've been, you know, taking care of my skin. And I realized that it's been giving me like this nice little glow. So I've been really digging the moisturizer. The SPF is okay, but I just been using that just to kind of like cleanse my face before I get started with my look. So <clears throat> As we get started, um, I just want to say I'm going to probably use basically all e.l.f. products. There will be maybe one one or two things that are not e.l.f. related products, but I'm going to try to make this as much as possible e.l.f. products as I can. Alright you guys, I am back. So I just finished doing my brows. I didn't want to stay too much on them because sometimes when I don't do my brows and... Um, and I haven't got them threaded, I'd be staying forever on it. And I hate when I do that because I don't want to be on my brows because I want to talk to you guys and then show you guys like some of the products that I'm using. So now that we are done with that, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off using two primers. I'm going to use some of the e.l.f. 
Acne Putty Primer. This is my favorite primer. I love to use this because whenever I break out, I want to use something that's going to help my skin and not keep, um, you know, hurting it. So I like to use this Green Putty Primer. And what I do is I just place it on the places where I have acne. And this is going to help kind of like balance all that acne problem or any issues that I have going on. And then I will kind of place some of it where I have a lot of pores on my T-zone. And lately, I've been trying to not put too much on my nose because I've been getting like this little... I don't know, like this white cast or something. So I've been trying to like stay away, but for some reason, I just have to add some right where I have the pimples at. Hopefully this will help calm them down and you know, maybe heal them along the way. So that's the first primer. Now we're gonna use the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. Um, I didn't even take it out the packaging, but I will say that um, it says that is, you're supposed to apply evenly to face before makeup using fingertips to pat into skin. The warmth of your finger will help the product melt into your application. Allow 30 seconds to set before applying makeup. Of course, um, it says that it's a clear gel primer. It's kind of the same one as the other one that I have, um, it, which is the I'll use, which is the mint melt. This one is a little cool, cooling sensation. But I love this. I'm literally like halfway in. But this stuff really works. And I love it because it's kind of like the dupe to milk makeup. But I feel like this one has a different um, color and consistency to it. But basically they do the same thing. So um, hopefully it gives me what I want. And it lasts pretty good. Like my other primer because I love that primer as well. So um, we are going to use this. And um, I'm not going to use my fingers but it says that I need to so um, I guess I'll use my fingers I mean I wash my fingers anyways so I'm gonna use probably two pumps that I um, applied on my finger and then I'm just gonna start letting it get tacky on my fingers just like this and then I'm going to place it where I want more coverage so I'm gonna place it here Oh, and it's really nice and cold I think it's because I'm down here and my room, my studio room is a mess. And on top of that, being a mess, it's cold down here. So I'm going to assume. Now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening um, Concealer. And this is going to help basically like balance out all my redness area where I normally have and I like to cover them up usually I don't do this I skip this step whenever I'm in a rush but when I have a little bit of time I don't mind applying some because it does help with the application and I and I put some too much so I'm going to kind of cover up my imperfections here and I know I said I don't want to touch around my acne, but I am. That's why I put the primer on. And I'm just going to leave it here for about a couple minutes. Because it did say to leave it for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to go in with my Eco brush. And these are super affordable. I love these brushes. If you guys see these brushes, don't sleep on them. They're really good brushes. They're super soft and they blend really good like you can get these at walmart cvs walgreens get them at walgreens <laughs> but but these are really good brushes like they're super soft and they're affordable i feel like everybody's been sleeping out on the eco brushes sometimes they could be a little bit pricey but they're drugstore they're not as um as expensive as other ones like luxie um 
Morphe is, is affordable, but Morphe kind of got a little expensive too. And you know the other brushes brands like MAC and things like that that are very expensive. So if you're looking for a good brush to start off with, try the Eco brushes. They're really good. And I just love like the texture and the way that you can um, hold it and grip it. Like it has like a, a different type of feeling of grip, but I love it. And it's super suede and, and smooth. Like I, I, don't, I can't explain too much, but I'm trying to explain it as the best way I can. But that's how I feel about it. So um, now that that is set, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Um, what is this? I think it's the blurring brush. And I like to use a brush instead of the sponge. The other one that I used for like the primer when I first started with the Acne Putty Primer, I used the another Eco tool and this one is the Angle Foundation Brush. You could use this as a foundation. I just like to use certain brushes whenever I want to apply primer or moisturizer. Whenever I don't want to work with my fingers and I want to just focus brushes on my face and I like to use skincare brushes or whatever. Um, skincare products, I love to use brushes and incorporate it because I feel like it does something to your makeup. All right, now that we finish with that, I think this is good enough. I'm going to leave it in for about a couple more minutes. I went out and I got the Color Correcting Full Coverage Natural Finish um, Camel CC Cream. I have bought one in the same color, I think, but I don't know if they changed like the packaging or the name of it, but I got Medium 330. It says is is for warm um olive tone and since I have olive tone but I do have like um, in certain areas like tan and then a little um, light um, it's hard for me to find like my complexion because that's why I have to go out and I had to buy like two um, foundations or I buy a foundation and a concealer and I try to blend that together because most of the time sometimes I can't ever find a foundation that fits my skin because my skin just in different season it just does things and it just doesn't work at its best way so sometimes I just like to do what I can but I am gonna use this one and this one's in medium 330 I believe yes and me medium 330 warm and I'm going to add this I don't like to add too much so I'm gonna use like a very minimum and I'm gonna probably pump this on my hand I use that much of a pump so I'm gonna use this elf complexion duo brush and I'm gonna start off with the brush first and see how it turns out because normally when I do these things, sometimes the brush works good and sometimes it doesn't. I swear I hear a bird like next to my window. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it plays. But so far it's giving me coverage and I try to go in a little bit before I you know start on like my other face because I don't I like to start a very minimum of coverage because I feel like if you use so much you're just using up all the product and you're not really you're not really letting your skin set with just one layer I mean if you are a full coverage gal and you want to go for it then by all means you do you boo but if you want to start off with something small i would say just use like a pump or if you prefer like using like maybe a smaller brush a brush <laughs> to add the coverage or the foundation onto your skin you can do that as well but i just prefer adding just a little minimum coverage because like i said i want this to last but i don't want it to be too too heavy on the skin because i you know, there's days where I like coverage, but I don't like coverage all the time, especially like when my kids are in school, because there it's just certain days where I'm just like, hmm, yes, but not all the time. Like. The e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in medium beige and medium sand. I'm going to start off with medium beige since it's kind of like my... Um, color and I'm gonna use like a different brush today um, no to um, blend it out so I'm, I'm excited that I'm doing this right now because this is super cool 
<laughs> and I don't, um, I might blend uh, my my lids with a different color just because I'm going to use an e.l.f. a mini size palette. And I don't want to use the same color because sometimes they may not pop up. So that's why I'm just going to see how this concealer takes me before I start playing. So. All right, now that I did that, you guys can see the difference. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna kind of just start um, just letting that set. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my other concealer, which is the medium sand. And I'm gonna put just a little bit on my lids. Use the Halo Glow setting powder and I'm just gonna set this all over my face and um, I'm gonna use this brush here so now that I finished that I'm gonna use the bite size um, um, the bite size eyeshadow and truffles this one is my favorite um, I always get like a nice look off of this and it's super like easy transparent I love this brown here like it gets it like gives me like that nice look and I'm just gonna use just a little bit and kind of you put this on the crease all right guys so I just finished I'm now gonna finish up with the monochromatic multi stick this is supposed to be like a bronzer but I feel like it's more like a blush, but I'm gonna probably add some on my higher cheek and on top of my forehead and my nose. And then the final thing, um, I need to curl my lashes. I will be using a mascara that I literally love, love, love. And I don't think I'm going to stop using this mascara. I think this mascara is the best mas drugstore mascara ever from e.l.f. And I'm going to be using their Black um, Lash It Loud mascara. The wand itself, I don't know what it is, but it's just it's super like it's thick but it's thin at the same time and it has like these little specks that once you kind of like um you know curl it on your your lashes like as i'm doing right now you guys are going to notice it it really gets in those little fine lines and those little areas where you really want the mascara to pop up and i used this when i didn't have makeup on and when i tell you guys that this stuff literally made my eyes pop and it made it look really nice and pretty and voluminous like I kid you not it, it's really good shop this is actually a pencil but I tend to use it on lips I don't know why but I feel like this is a good brown for an elf product and you could use this anywhere so I use this brown pencil all right you guys so this is the final look So I finished off, I added like some little, um, like some black liner to my, um, these little dots here because I wanted to make it into freckles. Um, I tried to fix my brows, but since I wet, I had a little bit of that transparent soap still wet, it kind of like ruined my brow a little bit, but it's cool. Like I'll just leave it the way it is. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Um, using all drugstore elf and a couple other drugstore Milani and um, yeah and that's it I don't think I put I was gonna put some LA girl um, lip liner but I decided not to so alright you guys so my camera just died so I wasn't able to finish talking but I just wanted to give you guys this final look I hope you guys got to enjoy this. I um, will take pictures so you guys can see the difference. Um, I will be back maybe around 10 o'clock just to notice the difference on the primer. So just stay tuned for that um, because I do want to see 
the results of it so it's gonna be like a before and after hopefully it stays long and I don't have to like touch up anything so we're gonna see probably in like two hours from now once I pick up my daughters to see how the finished look came out and how everything lasted so I'll see you guys maybe in two hours and then from then on I'll see you guys probably tonight and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on the power grip primer from Elf. so I'll see you guys later all right you guys so i know i told you guys i was gonna get back with you guys like in two hours from now so it's already an hour i just put i still have on the makeup and so far i haven't noticed any difference um any oils seeping through normally i would get my oils after two or three hours depending on how much coverage I put but so far I still feel like it's matte as you guys can see and I'm looking through my tablet by the way just to show you guys and I haven't noticed anything I put my hair down because I decided just to leave it like this but um yeah I'll keep you guys posted and let you guys know how it all turned out later on I'll tire you guys but I'll see you guys later <laughs> bye All right, you guys, so I am back. Um, I believe it's seven. I don't have my phone on me as of right now. So um, I decided that I wasn't gonna keep um, the makeup on for too long because I do have to like get my daughters ready for bed and clean around the kitchen and just a couple things before I get ready for bed and I don't wanna be too tired and go to bed late. So I have to, um, do this video very short but I just wanted to say that as I'm looking at my face right now I'm starting to start seeing my oils peek through which is normal because you know um, it didn't come with like a, a disclaimer of how long the primer would last but I usually knew that it would last probably like maybe three four five hours but I'm not gonna lie this primer did hold up for about in total I would say 11 one like about eight hours in total so I think this was a pretty good primer for what it did and then not to mention like the only places I did notice let me zoom you guys in a little bit is that I started to notice a little bit of pores like right in here but um, maybe it's because I didn't blend completely or I was rushing but so far on this side I just noticed my pores but if you look on this side you start to see my pores a little bit but you barely can see I mean you can see on this side a lot but it's starting to peep up peep through a little bit in my skin but you could just see just a little bit and then of course yeah um, around my uh, mouth area I kind of like um, put a lot of powder so my makeup didn't really move that much so I was pretty impressed about it but so far it did exactly what it claimed to do and for a drugstore primer I really really am impressed let me kind of back you guys up a little bit because I got child zoom all the way in my face <laughs> all right now we're back okay so with that being said um, honestly I would give this about an eight um, elf products elf primers are the bomb they work very good they're affordable they get the job done even when you are not like on your best day looking the best like it gives you that affordable look that you need very nice very natural very bright vibrant and it just keeps everything in place so in my opinion I like it I don't think I have anything bad to say about it um, other than, you know, of course my concealer did start it to get it. my under eyes starting to show, but besides the concealer, the primer itself, I would give this about an 8. And I like it so far, so this is a good product. So if you guys are interested in wanting to buy one, you can go to your local Walmart, Target, um, pharmacy stores. Um, they are located there and you can find 
all find all the elf products um, i'm not sure if they do have the primer because since it has been sold out in some stores and online it's been hard but if you can go out and still try to look for it if they have restocked then i believe you should go and buy it and try it out for yourselves but um you know i'm i'm giving this my full honesty um, i'm trying to make this video quick but it did work on my skin so it did a pretty good job and i was impressed but yeah you guys so that was the full review on the elf um grip primer um i have to go now so i'll see you guys next time on my videos and just stay tuned for more bible stories and more videos to come for if you guys want more content and more videos or any kind of um you know specific topic that you want to want me to talk about or even just a story time then just you know comment down and let me know other than that i think this is it for tonight because i'm about to wash all this off of my face and go straight to bed after i clean up and start my day all over again but you guys stay safe god bless i love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching